I'm Connor Sensenig, and I'm here with Dr. Adams, Superintendent of Schools. Hello, Dr. Dr. Adams. First, I'd like to know, how long have you been working in Hempfield? Thanks for having me, Connor. Uh, this is actually my 12th year uh, working here at Hempfield School District. And how many of those years have been as superintendent? This is my fourth year as superintendent. Uh, what other positions have you held in uh, the school? I actually came to Hempfield back in 2007 uh, to become the high school principal. I held that role for a year and then I was three years the assistant superintendent for secondary education and then four years the assistant superintendent for the K-12 educational program. And before your time in Hempfield, have you had experience in other districts? Actually, I have. I started my uh, teaching career in a little tiny rural school district in far northern New York. I was a science teacher, a coach, and a class advisor in that district for about eight years. Uh, and back in 92, uh, I then moved to Lancaster County. And for 15 years, I worked at Manheim Township School Districts, first as a science teacher and then as an assistant principal at the high school, and then finally as the principal of their middle school. Uh, so you've had experience in plenty of other districts. Uh, mm -hmm. What sets Hempfield apart from those districts? Well, there's a couple things that, uh, that come to mind immediately. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, I, I really appreciate uh, the diversity that I see here uh, at Hempfield. Um, it can be a blessing and a curse, but I really find the diversity of our school system and that's represented in our student population to be uh, really a gift. It's a real strength because it is, it represents the world in which we live and, and we are trying to prepare students to go out into a world uh, that's full of, of, of different kinds of people, attitudes, beliefs and the like. So the fact that we have that here and our students are growing up in that kind of environment is really helpful. Um, I think the deep, the deep sense of pride uh, that I recognized when I got here to Hempfield is very unique. Uh, our school district's actually made up of four municipalities. You've got East and West Hempfield Township, you have East Petersburg and Mountville Boroughs. So there's no one community around which the, the school district is, is centered. And yet I believe our school district knits those four municipalities together in a very, very strong way. Um, it is our school district that, that makes our community in many respects what it is. And there is a deep sense of pride that our students, our staff, and I believe our parents and community members feel when they think about Hempfield. Um, and then I, I would say uh, the, the fact that because we have the great pride that exists in our community, uh, we're able to offer our student body a tremendous diversity and variety of educational experiences and opportunities that quite frankly in, in some smaller school districts you would not have the uh, access to the way we're able to provide it. Being a big district comes with challenges. It all co also comes with some opportunities that we're able to provide our students that many school districts aren't able to. So uh, those are a couple of the things that I think really set our district apart. And uh, you've spoken of um opportunities and academics that we can provide our students uh, as a big district. What of those have changed since you've become superintendent or have you since? Uh, yeah, I, I, it's, it's, been really, uh, it's been really gratifying to watch what's happened here over the last 12 years. Uh, I think one of the things we've worked very hard to do over the years is make sure that uh, the curriculum that we have in place in all of our content areas is tightly aligned to the standards that there's real purpose to what it is that we're teaching and why we're teaching it, and that we, uh, we have staff that, that do this really, really well. Um, I'm really proud of where we've been able to go with respect to uh, the amount of advanced placement courses that we offer. Over the past many years, we're, we're up to 27 or eight uh, different advanced placement courses or AP courses that our kids take. And we have many more students that, as a result that are taking AP courses and doing very well with them. Uh, I'm really proud of what we've done in the area of STEM. Uh, we've got things that are going on across the entire school system at the elementary and middle school and the high school levels. Uh, some examples, the fact that we now have maker spaces in our, in our library and media centers in our different buildings. 
Uh, we now have a very well regarded project lead the way pre-engineering program that we host at the high school. Um, you know, there's just many things that we've done, including putting an iPad over the last four years. We are now in the, in the final year of the rollout of our one-to-one -one initiative. So every student in our school system has an iPad in their hands, and we've gone to great lengths to make sure in the year prior to the teachers in any grade level students receiving those iPads that we've trained those teachers to help them best understand how to help their students take full advantage of those tools in the classroom. Um, I think we've worked really hard over the last several years to make sure that we have in place the academic and social emotional supports uh, that some of our students need uh, to a different level and degree than, than other students may in order to be successful. Uh, Hempfield's a really demanding place to go to school. Uh, and so we recognize that we, uh, not, all students don't need the same things at the same time. And so we've, we've become more responsive, I think, in terms of meeting students' needs and, and making sure we have supports in place. Um, and then I probably, uh, I, I'm really proud of the spectrum of special education services we've developed for students who present with really unique learning challenges and needs. Uh, I, I, I think that programming is as good as any that you'll find in the state of Pennsylvania. So those are just a couple of examples of things that I'm really proud to have watched evolve over time. And I've got to say, none of that happens without having tremendous staff, you know, faculty, teachers, and, and all the other people who work in our buildings that uh, demonstrate a continuous improvement mindset and are willing to, to grow and, and to do the things that, that, that it takes to make a school system better over time. And uh, you touched on this earlier, um, but I want to know what you've seen change in the school that maybe um, isn't academic, like maybe in the community. Yeah, I, again, I mentioned a little bit, uh, it's, it's a more diverse community, and I think one of the things that we're seeing, well, like I said, while it's a strength, it also presents some challenges. I think it's been, you know, over the last 10 years, there have been times when, because of the economic downturn that occurred around 2008, 2009, uh, it, it created some hardships for our families that some of our folks have not uh, had to deal with uh, in the same way. And so we've seen some things with mental health and, and different needs that ha have shown up with our students. And so we've had to be able to put some different kinds of supports in place. Um, I, I think the economic climate in this state uh, around public education over the last 10 years has become very difficult. And uh, as a result uh, of less uh, favorable funding provided by the state and the federal government, it's, it's put more of a burden on our taxpayers. And we work really hard here to try and make sure that, that, that uh, we don't overburden the taxpayers. But in order to pr continue to provide the great education that we, we do here at Hempfield, that does not come without cost. And so that's been difficult, as has been the political, I think the political tenor of conversation about public education in general uh, in Pennsylvania has made it harder uh, on school systems. Um, quite honestly, we see fewer students that go into college thinking that they might want to be teachers. And as time has gone by, it's gotten harder and harder to identify and retain high caliber, high quality young teachers. And, so those are some of the challenges that I see that have been brought to bear on our school district. Uh, despite those difficulties, mm -hmm. uh, would you say that your career has been favorable in the school? Oh, I, I, I can't say enough good things about the way I've, I've, what my career has provided me the opportunity to do. I've, I've spent a lot of time reflecting in recent months on my career uh, and uh, I am pleased with and humbled by the opportunities that I've had, I think, to make a, a significant contribution to hopefully making our schools better places for the students and the people that work in them. Um, education's been very good to me, uh, and I, I'd like to think that I've made a worthy contribution to the profession. I've had the, the the absolutely lovely opportunity to work with tremendous professionals in all the districts that I've had the opportunity to work in over 35 plus or 34 plus years, this being my 35th. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I would like to think that I've had a favorable impact and I will go into retirement 
feeling feeling grateful for having had the opportunity to do for others uh, in a way that I benefited from the schooling that I was able to to realize over the course of my life. Thank you. Uh, you spoke about your um, contributions to the school as well as your um, your be, uh, being able to work with uh, wonderful professionals. Uh, what? But what does the superintendent do within the school district? Uh, probably the easiest way to describe the superintendency, it's really the CEO of the school district. I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day oversight and leadership and operation of the entire district, which you're talking about nearly 7,000 students, around 1,000 staff members working in 11 school buildings with an annual budget of over $120 million a year. So um, I, I work very closely with uh, the school board and with senior leaders uh, to make sure that we cast a, an appropriate vision for what's to take place here in the district and that we provide appropriate direction to everybody working in the system that we enact and, and follow and adhere to the policies that help us run an orderly and effective school district. Uh, and then it really comes to working with all of our district leaders to try and remove obstacles to either students or to staff members that interfere with their ability to teach and learn in the classroom. And then making sure that we are able to provide really high quality uh, experiences to all of our students but also do that in a way that's fiscally responsible to the rest of the community. And uh, with your retirement, uh, the previous superintendent, uh, sorry, assistant superintendent will be taking your position. What yeah. do you think of them? Yeah, Mr. Mike Bermersky, he's an outstanding human being. Uh, he is a talented, very gifted and dedicated professional. Um, I was thrilled when the school board announced that they were going to hire him as my replacement. Uh, he's going to be tremendous in his role. I, I'm thrilled for him and I really am thrilled for the district. Uh, only good things are, are on, on the horizon for the school district with Mr. Bermersky at the helm. So you would say that you uh, foresee a number of uh, good years for the school? Um, Absolutely. Do you have any other last statements for students, uh, employees of the school, uh, alumni? Yeah, I, it, with regard to students, I would say uh, Take advantage of the wonderful opportunities that are provided to you here at Hempfield. Uh, I, I don't take for granted what our community has proven over time willing to support, and I, I hope our students don't take it for granted. And so get involved, take full advantage of what happens not only during the school day in your classroom settings with your courses, but all the different extracurricular opportunities. I, I would encourage students to get involved. There's something here for every student if they really want to get involved. Uh, with regard to staff, just, just a sincere thank you uh, and, and the encouragement to continue to exercise growth mindset, uh, to, to a, a drive to want to continuously improve all that we do for the benefit of the students that we exist to serve. Uh, with regard to parents and the community, I would say um, thank you for your partnership and, and to encourage you to continue to reach out and work with, with members of the school district. Uh, it really does take that partnership to, to raise students in the 21st century. So please don't hesitate to, to communicate with us and to share with us feedback as you see fit. And then finally, uh, to our Hempfield alumni, um, I, would, I would encourage them to stay involved and to stay in touch with the school district. I really firmly believe that the most valuable measure of the effectiveness of a school district is the degree to which it prepares students for the real world beyond Hempfield, whether they go into higher education or into the business and uh, business community, business and industry. Uh, I encourage our alumni, please reach back out to us and let us know how we did. Were you prepared for the real world to go out and pursue uh, the dreams that you aspire to achieve. That for us, that kind of feedback we find to be really worthwhile. And so I would just encourage our alumni, please stay in touch with us and let us know how you're doing out there. I know I'll certainly take your message to heart. Um, I like to thank you for your time. I want to wish you luck in your retirement. Um, and again, I can't thank you enough for being able to have this interview. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. I appreciate Thanks. it very much. Thank you.